We will now look at postmodernism. In regards to anthropology, postmodernism is based on the belief that it is impossible to be truly objective in studying cultures of other people, because everyone has a cultural bias based on their own lived experiences and enculturation processes. Therefore, members of this school of thought further argue that anthropology cannot be truly scientific because of how subjective humans are in nature. In this regard, postmodernists are critical of the effectiveness in using the scientific method in studying culture and social systems. Because postmodernists believe that anthropologists cannot study their subjects in detached or objective ways, the anthropologists should practice what they call relax reflexivity. Reflexivity requires an awareness of the researcher's contribution to the construction of meanings throughout the research process and acknowledge the impossibility of remaining outside of one's own subject matter while conducting research. Therefore, the researcher should be aware of how his or her own lived experiences, cultural practices and beliefs, background, etc., influences his or her perceptions, interpretations, and analysis in studying other cultures, along with considering how a researcher's involvement with a particular study influences and informs such research. The reality is both the researcher and the subject, the informant, are subjective. The anthropologist not only observes his or her subject, but the subject observes the anthropologist. Therefore, their fieldwork is not a one-way objective observation, but a two-way interaction requiring the anthropologist to deal with the subjectivity of their subjects and their own subjectivity. Anna Wilkie in her article, Improve Your Research Technique, Reflect Reflexive Thinking, Five Practical Tips, provides this interesting diagram for the anthropologist or the researcher to consider when studying other cultures and societies. Please take a moment to review Anna Wilkie's article, Improve Your Research Technique, Reflexive Thinking, before continuing on to the next video.